Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a graph. Graph is efficient and a very effective way to share the status of a project. So let me show you how you can create a graph. So like test uh, report, um, you can also uh, generate graph uh, from like some predefined graph from uh, from uh, from other modules like test plan, test lab, or or, or requirements, um, like uh, from this analysis menu that I showed earlier. Uh, but um, I will mainly focus uh, in this tutorial to show you how you can create a custom graph uh, from uh, from this analysis view under dashboard. So like uh, um, like that. Uh, the test report uh, i want to create a um, a, a graph under this uh, private folder so I, I will create a uh, folder to organize my uh, graphs name this folder new graphs click ok so this new graphs folder is created and again if you if you uh, remember uh, 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 the private under private folder what you created is only going to be uh, available um, to you uh, you can create in public folder to share it with other uh, people so now uh, under the new graphs um, uh, you can also uh, create uh, a new graph like uh, test report uh, from these options you can go new graph um, also you can use a graph wizard so first I'm going to use this new graph option then I'm going to use this graph wizard option to create a graph so so now um, if you click this in the arrow next to the new item you will get the option to um, create a new graph um, so if you select this so with this you can only have option to create an entity graph which uh, you can uh, you you can uh, create graph based on different entities but there is another way to create graph based on the business view which is mainly focused on the business perspective but uh, with this new graph option you can create on the entity graphs so i want to create a graph which is um, show me all the defects summary um, based on the the subjects so uh, but um, let's uh, select uh, graph type is summary graph and the entity is defect and let's give this name is defect summary you one click ok so now you can see um, this graph is uh, is created uh, now we want to uh, define a few uh, information that how it's going to look so right now uh, we want on the x axis we want um, uh, the subjects so what i want to see like uh, which uh, subject area of that application like which area of the application has how many defects so for getting this so you can select any any of this information based on your requirement so i'm going to select the subject and on y axis i want to see the count of those defects uh, and this uh, what i want a group by status so now if you click, click view this tab so now you can see uh, on your y axis uh, there is like number of defects and the x axis you have different subject area name like uh, uh, in book flight uh, cancel reservation now uh, and you can also see the total number of defects also like you can see like uh, how many they are closed how many they are fixed uh, how many new so you can see you can have a like a, a overview kind of um, information from here like uh, getting all uh, the defects exist based on those uh, uh, subject area so this is a bar type uh, um, graph you can also as you can see the bar chart so you can also switch uh, to pie chart so if you, if you click this button pie chart you can get a pie view of um, the same uh, information as you can see in the bar and uh, 
now also if you want to uh, you can see also grid view but uh, we want something graphical so we'll stick with this bar chart now um, if you click generate so the graph is basically generated if you want to um, save this uh, graph you can click this um, button you can save it as a image and you can uh, share it with uh, um, other people so let's say I'm going to you can have option to set a, save it as a bmp jpg png i want to save it as a jpg file so you say defect summary zero one and save so now that graph is saved so if you go to test folder we can open this you can see this graph is now saved um, so now uh, let's go back to um, to our graph and um, we want to um, create another new graph but this time we want to do it uh, using graph wizard uh, the good thing about using the graph wizard is uh, you have less probability to miss any 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 option so let's click graph wizard and as you can see in the graph wizard you have both option to create a business view graph or entity graph but um, as we went to creating entity graph so select create entity graph and then click next uh, again we are going to create this uh, summary graph based on the defect and click next and um, do you want to use any uh, filter um, this time we want to use um, uh, some filter let's uh, define a new filter okay now i want to define a filter based on the status so we'll say oh, we want to see only which are uh, currently um, say uh, open okay click okay click next we don't want to uh, on x exists again we want to see it by subject area and then we click uh, finish now you can see we have a graph here which is we showing as the number of defects um, and but only um, the ones are open so uh, based on the subject area which are open which is showing here so you can see in different subject area how many defects are open so now we have to add it to our analysis tree so when you click that button and add to analysis tree you can add it to your uh, one of your folder so as, as we are uh, adding it in uh, in the new graph folder so select new graph and click save now you can see under the new graph we have uh, this graph so this way you can also create a graph by using graph wizard and again uh, like um, that the previous graph you also can uh, switch it to pie chart if you want um, uh, and you can also save uh, this graph if you want and or also you can print it so that's it for this tutorial so in this tutorial you learn how to create a, a customized graph uh, using both uh, create graph option or using a graph uh, a wizard um, Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.